This is the Sega-holic episode 79. How to install Rocky 5's Xbox soft modding tool version 1.1.4. First off, let's search for and download Rocky 5's Xbox soft modding tool. Now find the downloaded zip file and put it someplace you can find it. Here I'm putting it out of my desktop. Rocky 5's Xbox soft modding tool has a bunch of tools and features, so make sure you read his GitHub page to find out just what is available to you. Now unzip the downloaded file. Inside the unzipped folder, there are some files with a bat extension. All a batch file does is execute a set of written instructions. Although they can only be run under a Windows environment, they can be read and written by text editors in other operating systems. You can just change the text extension to a .bat extension. In our case, we're interested in two of these batch files. The first one is build softmod zip. Once double clicked, it will start creating files within this folder. This is the folder that the batch file created and I'm dragging it to the desktop for demonstration purposes. Now, just unzip this file. Within this new folder are some files and instructions but what we're interested in is a soft mod package and its contents. Within the soft mod package folder, there's various save files and soft mod files. Go ahead and open up the zip files and extract the folders with the numbers on them. I use all the game save files because I have all the games that trigger the exploit but if you have only one game, then choose whatever game that you have. Now take your Xbox compatible USB memory stick and plug it into your computer. But first, we need to format the stick with the Xbox. This was taken from episode 72. If the stick is compatible, when you plug in the stick, this dialog should show up. When you put in the Xbox formatted memory stick into the PC, you should see this dialog. Just hit cancel. Next, we need to open up Explorer 360, which is a program that transfers files from the PC to the memory card. From Explorer 360, click Drive, Open, then Hard Drive or Memory Card. And a partition should appear. I've tested Explorer 360 with Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7, and Explorer 360 works with them all. For Vista, do not right-click and add this way, Rather, use drag and drop. Now let's head back to our Xbox soft modding tool master folder and run our second batch file. This time the build xiso batch file. What this does is build an extras disk iso file which needs to be burned to disk. Now open image burn or your favorite burning software to burn the iso file. The 
depending on your drive type, you can use DVD plus R, DVD minus R, or CDR discs. Making the extras disc is not essential, but it contains some nice tools to fix your Xbox and also further enhance the soft mod. So that's it for the PC and now we can turn to the Xbox. Go to memory, then plug in the memory stick. Now just copy over the files from the memory stick to the hard drive. Before you initiate the soft mod, make sure you are using composite video cables. Here's the skin of the new dashboard, but if you like the classic look, then you can just change the skin. Now we can change it back from composite video to component video. To get rid of the borders, go to system, then settings, then go to screen calibration. And notice there is no audio. You can add it manually or use the extras disk and install the stock Microsoft Dash. When you launch the extras disk, the screen should pop up. Now go to install dashboards, MS dashboards, and then MS-5960. Now reset the Xbox. Now we're going to launch the extras disk again to install Chimp for the next video so we can clone the hard drive. Another good thing to do is to change the system fan speed. To do that, go to system, then settings, then system again, then scroll down to system fan speed. I like to set mine at 2.5, which is a good trade-off between performance and noise. And now we need to do one last thing. We need to back up our EEPROM. Go to file explorer and you can see drive H is our USB stick. To go to the right side, press the R trigger and scroll to the E drive where the backup EEPROM is at. Highlight the EEPROM folder, then press the start button. Scroll down to copy, then hit OK. So join me next time when we upgrade and clone the hard drive. 
and please subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.